Unraveling, Randomly Scattered, A Simple Guide. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, randomly scattered. Whether you're reading a book, watching a movie, or just having a conversation, understanding this phrase can add depth to your comprehension. Let's explore what it means, how it's used, and why it's such an interesting part of the English language. The phrase, randomly scattered, combines two important words, randomly, which means without a set order or plan, and scattered, which means spread out over a wide area. When put together, they describe objects, points, or even abstract concepts that are spread out without any specific pattern or organization. To truly grasp the meaning, let's look at some examples. Nature, think of leaves randomly scattered on the ground after a windy day. There's no predictable pattern. They're just spread out everywhere. Society, in a city, you might find people's homes randomly scattered across different neighborhoods without any uniform distribution. Ideas, sometimes, our thoughts can be randomly scattered, jumping from one topic to another without a clear connection. These examples show that randomly scattered can describe physical objects, locations, or even the way we think. When using randomly scattered, it's important to convey the sense of unpredictability and lack of order. It's a phrase that beautifully captures the essence of chaos in a natural or designed context. Here are some tips. Descriptive writing. Use it to create vivid images in your reader's mind. Analytical discussion. Apply it to explain the distribution patterns in data or observations. Everyday conversation. Incorporate it to describe anything from the arrangement of furniture in a room to the distribution of stars in the night sky. Understanding and using the phrase, randomly scattered, can enhance your English communication, making it richer and more precise. We hope this exploration has shed some light on how to use and understand this versatile phrase. Keep practicing, and soon, you'll find it naturally fitting into your conversations and writings. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.